the Leavenworth and Pikes Peak Express Company, better known as the Pony Express, began operations on April 3, 1860. With the nation on the brink of civil war, it was imperative for the timely news from the east to reach far off California. The Pony Express delivered letters on horseback covering the 1,966-mile route from Missouri to California in just 10 days. According to the National Park Service, who administers the trail, in the 18 months of operation, six riders died in the line of duty, four killed by Indians and two froze to death. In addition, 16 station agents and stock tenders were killed. Due to the efforts of the men and women of the National Pony Express Association, the spirit of the Pony Express is alive and well in 2023. This is their story. Each person is in charge of their own section when they do the draw at the meeting, the ride meeting, where you pick your stage you want to do. Then you sign a contract saying you will clear and clean and get help from the forest, your service, or whoever you need to. Personally, I just grab my friends. Rob here is going to be the rider on this particular portion of the trail. The trails have to be cleared of anything that's going to hit the horses or the rider's head or face. And obviously when you have these large overhangs and these snags, a lot of times there's widow makers that are ready to snap off and get you at any given moment. And you just have to use common judgment of what needs to really be out of the way. And then this year it'll be probably Rob's little daughter will bring her along to be part of the deal. You betcha. And that's about it. Bring in the young ones to get them to learn what we're all about and enjoy it. Uh, I believe you have to be 16 to actually ride, but they may have dropped it to 14 now. Uh, I think it's 14 with you have a rider with you yeah, or something. Yeah, you have a rider, yeah. 14, probably ride and an 14, adult. Yeah. And an adult. Yeah, so the rules are changing all the time to get more and more of the kids involved in it. Which is Watch out. All right. That's the good part. That's the big one. How come every time you get a trail, you got like a 80 foot tree down on it? We could probably just clear underneath it and ride the horse on it. I'm not driving a trailer up that. It's just, I mean, just getting getting here and we already got a big problem. Yeah. What do you think? Can you lead the horse underneath that? I don't know. It's, it's, it's tall enough. So what's actually holding it up? Is it that or? I, I, <laughs> yeah, I know. If we cut that one, it's going to fall on me. Right. Uh, I'm wondering. It's just, it's just in the air. Strawberry Station, originally homesteaded by Ira Berry, 
in 1858. Irid reputedly sold straw at hay prices to the pilgrims, earning him the moniker Strawberry. Then Rob will come up here, and then I'll get the bags and go from here up to Strawberry. With all the crazy weather, we won't have snow and they'll get tornadoes. Yeah. You know? That just adds a little adventure to it, that's all. Mm -hmm. when's, the, when's the ride hit St. Joe, do you know? <clears throat> well, if it leaves on the 16th, it should be there by the 26th. Should be 10 days. Yeah, okay. It'll start on the 16th in the afternoon in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Steve Poole is one of our best riders. He gets to take off with it. And uh, it should get to up here by the next morning. Seven, eight o'clock in the morning, I think. Barring any problems. Mm -hmm. If they're early, hey, they're what can go wrong? Oh, all kinds of things can <laughs> go wrong with those guys. Oh, we're gonna take it nice and slow, and I gotta get low. Come on. Better move my hat off. Come on. Slow, easy. While we wait, it's about. 6.50, the mail's supposed to be here at 6.57. A few years back, we did a video, Scout and I did a video of Rowdy and Eagle Rock, and there it is again. Years later, another horse. Uh, that's the trail. Hi, this is Dave with the National Pony Express. We're doing our annual ride, and I've been on here with my horse Rowdy before, but this is a new horse, Buck. He's actually one of Rob's, my fellow rider that was in this flick. Oh, this is Rob big. got hurt on his second horse and isn't going to be able to do the ride, so this horse, okay. Buck, and I are going to do his stretch. That's what this video is about. Neither one of us are familiar with it, so it's, it's going to be a little bit of an adventure. And we're getting ready to take off and try to find out what we're going to be doing on the trail here, if we're going to be successful or not. This is the same thing they've been doing oh. since the 1860s when they Easy. did the Pony Express. I'm not sure exactly Good boy. how it's all going to go down, but hopefully it's going to be a fun, safe ride. Okay, let's go. Just easy. Take it easy. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Buck! Oh, 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 oh! oh. Back up, back. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Easy, baby. Easy. Come on, go through there. Come on. No? Ho! 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 Ho, Buck! Ho! Easy! Easy! Good boy! Hey! Come here! Come here! Okay, let's take a little walk here. See? Me too. Okay, I think we're back. I 
Let's take a break. <laughs> Get your breath. A little detour, I could let you, if you listen, I could let you take your breath. Oh, we're getting tired. I got a long ways to go. Yeah, you never know on these trails. We're up here high in the Sierras, nobody around for miles. You could run into hostiles or road agents and any kind of critters that are out prowling these trails. So we keep our eyes and ears open. Buck's a pretty good horse for that. I've been lucky. I've had three or four horses on these stretches of California. They've all been unique in their own ways. And we seem to have managed to avoid any kind of crazy situations, which I'm sure the old timers did the same thing. They, stuff happens. You never know when it's going to happen, and you're certainly so glad now. once it's over, nobody got hurt. Not that big a hurry to get hurt. If I can't see, I don't know if you can. We're riding into the sun. This is a little creek. Okay. So here we are again at the end of the trail, and I wasn't expecting the gate to be closed when Buck and I came around barreling around the corner. And uh, we tried to jump it. It's another one of those, anything can happen and it certainly ends up happening. Uh, it wasn't pinned, so we clicked the gate and it swung open and we went for a ride. He, I kicked him off to the right, he did a barrel roll, left the saddlebags on the ground, got up and climbed into the trailer. I wasn't quite so lucky, it took a lot of launch to get him to go to the right when I went to the left and I came down on my head, my collarbone, my shoulder, my back left side. Pretty much bust me up pretty good. Thank God it's nowadays and not 1860. I would have been laying there for a long time until the bears came and ate me. At any rate, you have to be careful in the Sierras or anywhere else with the horse and when you're doing the Pony Express, it can get you at any time. It's very beautiful to ride up here, but you just have to be aware. And happy trails, we'll talk to you next year.